Tundra is a male baryonyx that used to live during the early Cretaceous period in Europe, hunting for fish in the rivers and lakes. One fateful day, however, the baryonyx's life changed when a meteor hit his home and brought cold times to the valley he lived in. The baryonyx survived the initial explosion but was struggling to find food. All the rivers and lakes froze when the temperatures dropped, meaning it was impossible to catch fish. The dinosaur had to resort to land dwellers, and while they don't taste as good as fish, it had to settle for land creatures for the time being. While out hunting one day, the baryonyx came across the meteor that caused all of this. Curious, the animal walked over to investigate and noticed a shining light that got brighter and brighter, blinding the baryonyx and knocking him unconscious. When he woke up the next morning, he felt fine, but different. It was still cold, but for some reason the baryonyx didn't feel as cold. While chasing a herbivore, the baryonyx let out a loud roar, but then he noticed what appeared to be frost coming out of his mouth. It slowed the herbivore down and nearly immobilized it. The breath was enough for the baryonyx to catch up and capture its prey. Then he began to eat. The baryonyx was fond of his new ability and saw the frozen river and looked into his reflection and noticed that he looked physically different as well. He had what appeared to be crystals all over his head and back with some more at the end of his tail. He was also different shades of blue. The baryonyx then walked towards the ice and discovered that he can walk on it without having to worry about slipping and falling. This is when he discovered another ability. When the baryonyx saw a fish swimming underneath him, naturally he went to grab it and his jaws managed to break through the ice and he was able to eat the first fish in a long time. The baryonyx couldn't be any happier as he was now able to enjoy his favorite meal once again. Millions of years pass and the baryonyx evolved into a kaiju known by the humans as Tundra, the bringer of ice and snow. Wherever he goes, a snowstorm would follow, and any nearby towns and cities would get hit with snow, even in the middle of summer. Combat-wise, Tundra has fought Spinecrusher before as well as Madame Karcha. He would use his ice powers to slow down or immobilize his opponents before going in for the attack. He also uses crystal projectiles as ranged attacks that would do damage to the opponent. Tundra has yet to encounter the two big ones, however, Emperor Tyrannos and Lord Giganato, but people are speculating that Tundra could at least give those two a run for their money if he really wanted to. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.